Welcome back guys to Stop for Garage. Today we are detailing this Mercury Mariner. I've already started on it, but you guys will see all the juicy goodies that I found in this bad boy. Um, it needs a lot of work, but if you're new, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get started. All right, all you cool cats and kittens, uh, this dog hair destroyed vehicle is insanely hairy. All the carpets are covered, the seats are stained, and the only thing that we can do to get it all out of here, because once you get pet hair in your car, it's very hard to get it out because it sticks to everything and goes into every single nook and cranny you can imagine. So uh, the easiest way to ensure we get as much as possible is to pull the seats in the center console, which is what I'm doing now. And if you guys like these super satisfying videos and these restoration type videos, hit the thumbs up button down below. Now a great reason for me to pull the seats as always is to get a good idea of what the floors look like. And as you guys can tell from the vacuuming portion of this video, how much of the dirt comes out and makes the carpets actually look pretty good. But the underlying secret is the fact that darker colored black cover carpets in particular hide the dirt inside of them. So when we get to the extraction portion later on this video, you'll be surprised with how dirty they actually are. So in last week's video, I launched the biggest special I've ever ran on my detailing product line, foxclean.com. You guys need to go over there after this video and pick up your detailing supplies, whether it's for yourself or for holiday gifts. Definitely take advantage of it because it's free shipping on orders over $25 and you get 35% off your entire order. That coupon code is in the description box below. Go take advantage of it before I sell out.
Now for the center console, I'm utilizing my steam cleaner. This is a very good tool for in particular, all of the different dials on the shifter itself, whether it's the park, you know, drive, neutral, reverse uh, sections. Those buttons get dirt inside of them because of how the plastic overlays. And the easiest way to get it completely cleaned is to use the steam to kind of blow that area out dislodge all of that dirt and then you dry it and then use air compressor to kind of blow out any remaining liquid that gets stuck in there but um, the steam cleaner definitely came in handy for that portion and also for the center console from a disinfectant standpoint because you never know what this stuff is that's on here um, the steam kind of melts it away and allows it to completely be removed and cleaned very very easily One thing that you'll get out of watching my videos is how to detail your car interior very well because it's kind of like my bread and butter. Interiors and then I do some exteriors and paint corrections and ceramic coatings but for the most part the interior is like the main thing that I focus on because of how intricate it can be. So if you watch my videos you kind of follow along with the process you'll learn a ton of tips and tricks to help maintain and take care of your own personal vehicle as well.
Like I mentioned earlier with the darker colored carpets kind of hiding how much dirt is truly in here, check out all of that dirt being extracted up right now from the center section of this rear carpet. It's insane. You wouldn't have even realized it was there if you did not extract it. But once the carpet's dried in the after shots at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around to see those, you'll actually get a better idea of the difference before and after of how well this stuff cleaned it up. Now I usually try to give you guys tips in every video. Um, for this one I'm talking about the air compressor being used when it comes to detailing because one you can use it to blow out any dirt or dust before you you know gum up your microfiber towels or your brushes. But the other reason why I like to use it is when you are using all purpose cleaner on your door panels in particular and around the buttons and switches, the air compressor makes it really easy to blow out any excess liquid that is there for you to just wipe up with your microfiber towel.
I was actually really surprised with how well the seats turned out, and including the carpet on the inside, but the seats in particular because of the lighter color to them. And typically you get some grease or oil, and sometimes you can struggle to get all of that out depending on what products you use. And even then, if you use a stronger product, you might not be able to get it completely out because the seat has been stained for such a long period of time. Um, but for these ones, they came out great. And for the actual liquid I spray, it's called BioBreak. It's a citrus-based cleaner that's mostly used for in, inside of your home carpet cleaning by professionals. It works really well for this case and it's something I've been using for the last couple years when it comes to cleaning any of the upholstery inside of a vehicle. So um, it's just sprayed on, use a drill brush to agitate it, it kind of has a dwell time about 15 minutes before I use my Mighty Extractor to extract up all of that juicy liquid that you'll see very soon in the extractor pour. Okay, if you think you learned a lot from this video, check out this video on screen. Go click on it now. It's gonna take you to a full detail on the inside and the outside with the paint correction, ceramic coating, you name it. Definitely click on screen, go check it out. Worth your time, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> 